Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Shadows of the Dam. Now, if you guys are watching in the last part, at the very end of the last part, you'll know that my computer ran out of memory while I was recording this huge recording session, probably the longest for this LP, which roughly spanned about 10 episodes, which, as you can tell, is quite an indent on my laptop's memory. But basically, it ran out of memory, and this is roughly where it decided to cut off. So here we are getting started with another playthrough. Now, I just... I'm using a YouTube user's name, uh, the Queen Vampire 666 or something, and this is her playthrough of it. I think it's her first one because, as you can tell, well, as you can't really tell right now, uh, this is on easy, and she does not have all the upgrades. She does indeed miss a couple of things, so I'll make sure to point out that because um, it's just kind of one of those things. And another, I just picked it out because the, it was the first thing that came up when I Googled or when I YouTube Shadows of the Damned Act 5, Chapter 3, you know. This is the first thing that came up, and it's pretty good quality. I would say it's com comparable to mine, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, now that we've done that, now that we've turned it all the way, we're going to go through this area. Oh, and she's playing on the PS3, by the way, so just keep that in mind. And um, If you can already tell, this is definitely post-commentary, the first of which I'm explicit explicitly saying it, but in a lemon hunter so today is uh november 18th and i apologize it's been forever since the last upload i think this is sorry she doesn't have subtitles either so i kind of want to try and make sure i don't talk over those but um yeah today is november 18th and it's it's been almost three days since my last update which in like a year is probably the longest i have gone without uploading so i apologize in case you guys are really that you know, wanting to do that. I've just been busy with work, and maybe I'll get into that in a future Euphoria episode, which we're almost done with. I haven't recorded anything, you know, prior to this, so I'll probably upload this today. But, um, I got a new Xbox, so that's pretty good. Go down here, and you can get a red gem. And what you, um, you can actually, a red gem in absence. So here, her stash, she doesn't really have much for reload speed or torch. But if you go, if you keep going, like, behind her right now, there's a staircase she did not go down. There will be a second red gem. Do not forget to grab that, okay? I mean, if you want to. We didn't really have to because we already maxed it out because we we're just that bird, I guess. But, uh, anyway, here's another one of these turny puzzles. And she's actually going to mess up on one of this, these parts, which I'll explain in a minute. But here is another red gem. So, in she, oh, she missed um, you'll actually, um, just get, like, four in this, or, I mean, three in this general vicinity really fast. Now, you, now, the area she just came through will be blocked off after that, so keep that in mind because, um, you won't be able to backtrack, like, the second you do that. So here is kind of a tricky part if you don't know what you're doing. Um, the goat head's gonna appear on the underside slash opposite end of where we're facing, so we're gonna wanna turn it over just to the left just once so that you can get rid of the darkness. Now, what you have to do, so it's, there she is, light shot the goat head. Now, you need to move that in position because after you go over this part that she's on right now, after you go across this way, more enemies are going to spawn here, by the way. But more, once you go across the area that we're going to be... Did that guy just arrow aerobic his way off that? That was badass. Man. Oh, wow. But as you can tell here, she's going to go ahead and... Uh, turn the path so that she can go across now that second one with the goat head you're actually gonna have to turn it again and then flip it once now you have to turn it twice and then flip it once in order to get across to this next part which is what she, she didn't know but I did so there's that so as you can tell there's a dead end right there so kind of sucks for her but it's whatever because she's gonna go back and correct it which is very good which is what most people should do and uh, on my first playthrough I actually did that uh, perfectly so um, this entire area is actually pretty easy, but I can see how that might screw some people up if you didn't know beforehand. So she's going to go back down there. And she's going to turn it over the right way so that the... She's going to now flip it. There we go. Or I guess, I don't know, it's kind of weird flipping, turning. There you go. And there. Now it's perfect to go across. Now, I think two episodes ago, I, would, I said that that was our last time seeing Christopher when I accidentally skipped over his initial line of dialogue. Well, that is not the case. I actually got that confused with this part because... I never really ended up seeing him much throughout the entire game, except, like, I haven't, like, really made note of it. He just, I just, there would always be another part where I just would just remember where he was. But this is the last time we see Christopher, unfortunately, so it brings great sadness in my heart to say nice, this. Cool shower. Uh, gee, that's a golden shower. <laughs> oh, God, so right here, you guys. Well, this is as far as I go, friends. If y'all want to conduct business, now's the time. Yep, and she's actually buying ammo. Are you kidding me? Do you not know you could buy red gems, lady? Jeez, but uh, at least we don't have terrible rendering settings because I remember that was the worst in the entire game. 
See y'all real soon. I ain't even gonna go no farther. Why did you buy ammo for that? But anyway, um, so that's the end of this area, the labyrinth area that we missed out on, which I apologize for again. But um, here we are into, which is uh, the Castle of Hassel Act 3. And you saw a little cut there. That was because it's the beginning of a new video. And we actually didn't miss much in this part. Um, it's mostly just like kind of like a gauntlet, kind of like in the last episode, but not really. It's a little bit easier, but... Um, when this little clip is over, we missing we're missing about five minutes after this until it's gonna go back into present Ellison. Well, your present, my past. So. Hate to you, old man. <laughs> so here we are, you guys, the castle of Hassel at last. Oh man, we finally made it, you guys. After 21 episodes and or 20, I should say, we're we're finally here. So anyway, um, there's not really much here, as you can tell. There's the entrance. I don't know why she's doing some weird shit right there but um there's just gonna be stuff going here you just have to climb up and oh man you didn't have your red your hot boner off and i guess yes uh, so we're just climbing up these stairs and in uh fleming will be laughing at us throughout this entire time which is really annoying and kind of creepy but there's willie willie and we're gonna go into this room and uh oh this doesn't look very good at all so <laughs> there garcia is doing his weird like uh, i bet he did his eye thing there off camera but Enemies are going to come out of the vagina on the ceiling. And now here we are fighting people. So, what is that thing? She, she likes punching people. I just want to say that and diving into them and stuff. And, oh my god, what? what? Hmm. So, there's more of these enemies. And it, yeah, she takes them out, like, so easily because it's on, like, easy. But it's just, I don't know. It's just ridiculous how easy this is on easy. Like, you wouldn't really expect it. Like, half their armor's off by doing that. And it's just kind of funny. But she really loves that dentist. <laughs> he must really love that goat. So anyway, here we're going to continue on doing this. Um, yeah, nothing really much else there is to say because a lot of this is just combat orientated and just fighting. I can't really, like, you know, like, oh my god, I can't believe it just did that because I'm not playing. I'm just watching it and I'm just talking over it. But um, there's not really much going in terms of story. I mean, it's not much that we missed, but it's enough that it would be noticeable if I had left it out. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys see that, and like I said, the quality to this is comparable to mine, so it's not too bad. So after that room, we're going to go up here, up another staircase of death, into the darkness we go. So here, we've got Fleming taunting us. Yes. Here. So don't bother with that guy, because we can't kill him, as you can tell, we're in the darkness, and she's going to belly flop everywhere. Alright, so this is the last area before the part where we... Yes. So, yes, we're going to have to destroy the demon pubes within the darkness, or the demon orbs, into that thing. Now, if anyone's ever been to Chuck E. Cheese or anything like that, you'll know what these games are. And this is actually very, very easy to do. Uh, you just basically shoot above where you want it to go, and you'll be good. And um, right there, she's going to do that. And you have to be in the darkness. But, oh, uh, something I should mention. If you kill all the demons in there, you get a red gem. So make sure you do that. Because if you don't, then you won't get a red gem. So uh, she's going to go in there. And remember, you do have to be in the darkness to destroy the orbs. So uh, just keep that in mind because you don't want to forget that. It'd be such a silly thing to forget. So there she is. And she's going to... There she goes. Into the darkness. So, you know, whoop, death. All right. And so this part is very easy as well. Oh, wait, this isn't the last part. There's another part after this. Never mind. I was being stupid. And there, into the darkness once more. So very easy. And once that's destroyed, all is well on the home front. And Uriel. But it's still in the darkness, unfortunately. Except not really. I just forgot about that part. I always think that, but whatever. So meat doors open. We got the red gem. She's going to upgrade something. Not the reload speed. I mean, God forbid you should have super fast reloading speed oh god when I was recording this part I like kept running into the wall okay. whoa where are we now oh looks like she had poor rendering settings for a second there too but not quite as bad as mine so so now we're just randomly in this place and something I kind of made note of in the uh, in the lost recording I should say is that there's like little like we just teleported i mean what is up with that why did we have to teleport it just seems, makes like our progress just seems so menial there's another red gem don't forget to grab that that'd be kind of silly if you did that so 
Oh, what are you gonna upgrade? What are you gonna up oh, up? Oh, you can't do no oh, oh she's she's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Don't don't okay good nope up oh yeah of course it'd be for the the dentist or was it the dentist? I couldn't remember but anyway um there's gonna be one last room in here. We're gonna see one of our old buddies. Oh great this guy this guy right here uh oh oh and there's just gonna be normal enemies in here and the shock demon. I don't even know what else there is to call him. So she's gonna use the teether on him because on easier difficulties it's actually a lot easier but since he charges at you so much it'd be unworth it to do it because of how long it takes to lock on comparable I don't I keep saying comparable and like I want to say comparable because it sounds more comfortable to me saying comparable over comparable Com <laughs> you see that I'm just failing at English all over the place so there there yeah now you're now whoa bitch out <laughs> be careful you don't want those things to hurt you there you go there you go. Alright, so... There, that's a good area to do that on. Except she, for some reason, decided to take too long on it. But, alright, yeah. The one last one. That's all you need. You didn't have to waste all that teether ammo. I can't believe you would... Wow, okay. Never mind. Two more, maybe. Maybe she's doing it wrong. So, there we go. There we go. Good job. Oh, run away. Don't get hurt by that. <laughs> she's just gonna stand there watching. Oh, that blaster was pitiful, man. Wow. Well, anyway, you guys, that's pretty much all we missed is all that. And I just, you know, felt the need to have to show you guys. So, with that, you guys, the end of the Castle of Hassle has been completed. Now, we just all the way back up here. Now, this is where we come back to reality. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Uh, you will see this and the finale coming up hopefully soon. So, without further ado, I bring to you the present Ellison for you guys, past Ellison for me, and I will talk to you guys in just a moment. What bam Okay guys, uh, sorry, I just want to explain something really fast. My computer ran out of memory in the middle of that recording, that recording session that lasted an hour and 50 minutes from the point where I first mentioned it was October 27th. It's still October 27th and the recording failed and Luckily, I got it back just in the nick of time. I noticed because my computer was making weird noises, I looked down at it and I was like, what the fuck is going on? But I apologize. I think I lost only about five minutes, so I don't know where we've been. So I'm just going to start here as if we did not do this part. Um, if we did, then I might not, but I've already been through this just barely before I noticed. So I just reset the save and I was like, thank God I saved this. So I've got about 10 gigabytes left. We have to finish within that time. So... Let's hurry up and finish. Um, so here it looks like we've got... Okay, so this is a maze, like you said. So, arc this mother. <laughs> oh, Johnson. So here, this is basically going to be the point where we go to every time. There, This maze is kind of like one of those ones where if you go in the wrong door, you'll just end up back where you started. Um, AKA the Lost Woods. Again, thanks, Suda51, for not only ripping off... Uh, no more heroes but also the legend of zelda and you guys know i'm saying that completely sarcastically so we're going to take a left over here and we head over here we're going to go into this trippy ass area where we can kill this guy and then the second one over here but also it's kind of depressing because here we've got paula and she looks like she's dead so that's a little it's a little sad uh, so there we got a i think a tequila so let's head out of here. There's multiple ways we can take over here. And, 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 okay, I should probably mention this. You know that part where I said these are the last red gems? There's, I think I already mentioned it probably, but there's two more that we can get also. So we're going to take this middle one. If you, okay, so remember we went through that and we went through the left side after going through this darkness. If you go through the right side, you'll just come back to the very beginning of that area. So don't worry about that. Or no, you won't. Never mind. We'll have to go through that in a minute. But here we got Paula. And this is where I realized that... My computer wasn't recording, so that's very good. I was able to save it, so. In the rubbish bin. Wouldn't there have been, you know, more garbage and less flowers? <laughs> Funny. Maybe I should have left her there. If I hadn't picked her up, Fleming would not have targeted her. He is making her suffer because of me. You don't know that. Nothing makes me angrier than realizing I only get to kill that son of a bitch once. Ooh. So with that all said and done, we can't really do anything about her, unfortunately. So we can either go straight or to the left. To the left, and this is such a weird area, just like these fucking flowers with faces. Those are pro that's probably Suda51's face, except it's not. And then take a left over here, and when we head over here, we've got this area right here. 
And in that corner, in the right corner, we've got our final red gem, or what I believe to be the final red gem. And with that all said and done, there should be enemies, I thought. Oh, there they are. So, enemies, more more crawlers. Why, why are you here? There's no goat head here, no darkness for you to invest your vomit into, so why are you... <laughs> Why do you bother? There's these dead bodies hung here. They're so... Did I just shoot off their legs? Can I do that? Can. <laughs> well, that's kind of creepy. Hey, wait, wait. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> oh, you guys. I shouldn't be wasting my time. Whoa, 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 whoa. But we're going to do it. I wonder if there's an achievement to dissipate all the bodies up here. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and head backwards. And we're going to head up back here. But as you remember, we don't have the strawberry yet, so we're going to have to take this right path over here. Once we do that, we're into this next area. And over here, we're going to kill these guys, kill these guys, and kill that guy. Once that's done, what, what are they holding? Are they Oh, they're holding skulls. I see. That was Johnson's part-time job. So if you take left or right, you're going to go into the wrong area, so just keep going straight. Um, I already knew this from before. It's pretty easy. Now, what I didn't notice before, what you guys probably won't see out of my reactions is uh, this next part right here, which I didn't know, is that after we kill all those three, blah, 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 the cage will open, blah, blah, but in this cage is actually us, is Garcia, and I I never noticed that, and I was like, oh my god, you guys, <laughs> like, I took like a second and just stared at him, it looks like he's just, he's just depressed because he can't get out of this cage, and Johnson isn't with him, one of the second only times that we see him without him in the entire game i don't know if that beginning segment if we had him or not i mean i guess it's assumed 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 i was gonna say implied but then i said assumed so now that that's done all right you guys let's go through the darkness once and for all 